welcome, welcome to another extremely, ep extremely loud episode of VG Free Play. Um, once again, we're going to be putting up two new, two different players up against each other. This time around, it will be two, also, two new additions to the VG Casters. Yep, the two new, two of the newest additions to the VG Casters. We've got Voltzer and Odin playing. Yep. So, so the Crazy uh, Wings. Oh yeah! Oh! Oh! What a coincidence! It's, it's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, this episode will now be dubbed uh, "Revenge of the Crazy Wings." Yeah, if you guys see in the Neuer Vanguard, I'll link it somewhere. Yeah. We'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll link the we'll link Neuer Vanguard to why this episode will be called "Revenge of the Crazy Wings." But we'll see we'll see who the ultimate victor for that is with yeah. this game. So we'll, you guys can just start it off, and don't hesitate to talk while you're playing first. Can you please explain to me what it does? Because I'm not, yeah, you don't know offense. I don't know anything about Mega Colony. You played against my Mega Colony how many times? <laughs> what? What? Really? Yes. Wow. I've faced your Mega Colony times several times. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I'll hold my thoughts. In, in, Odin's, in, in Odin's defense, whenever I play other clans, I actually really don't know what they do. Oh really? Yeah. So most games, I actually feel like you know they're probably jibbing me with effects, <laughs> but I really don't mind. I've never made up I, an effect. Well, like I, I, if, I, I've actually won a fair few games, so if they are making up effects, I'm doing pretty well with their cheating. That's true. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, stand up. Stand up. Hang up. I am prepared to lose. Oh, wait. oh, you got the voice for the trailer down. It's nice. on. <laughs> right and superior search. Mm. Superior search. <laughs> So what does it do? This is such a great tool. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go. Right. I ah. did superior search. <laughs> oh. It's not superior if it's not guaranteed. I know, I know. Yeah, you have to fail. I know. And, and I failed. <laughs> Epic fail. <laughs> and this would be why you like this right chain over that one. Mm -hmm. If that came out of Souls, it'd be the perfect right chain. Oh, it'd be a seven. broken right chain. <laughs> That's a 5k supporter right there. It was 4k and pull out if I didn't have the right And then you have Sack for the uh, yeah. graph. Yeah, so it works out for No guard. Uh, um, yeah, see, that's how you crit someone. <laughs> Just a reminder guys, um, please support our Facebook page. Uh, by the time this video comes up, it will probably be swarmed with the links to the older videos. Um, as long as the admins, aka me, you yeah. know, just, like, get off their asses and do stuff. Um, but yeah, support us. Our, it's, our URL is facebook.com slash vgcasters. I think that's it. Right. Well, I'll figure it out and I'll link you guys in the comment in the description below. Yeah, resolve the entire call first. Oh. Also, again, we'll yeah, be announcing a new website that we are proudly supporting soon. Um, and you know, there might be some prizes to be given out when, once we make we make that announcement. Also, support Neko Cards, home of VG Casters. Honestly, as loud as it is sometimes. Yes, just like now because apparently Nephonic is, you know, getting his uh, groovy on. Nine. Hey Odin. Hey Odin. Hey Odin. Hey Odin. Twenty three at Lockyer. Twenty three at Lockyer. Go. And he had to defend that because of Spectral Duke. <laughs> Obviously, the question is, was it worth it? <laughs> More or less. More or less. So you know that they're fairly. Well. I play my own Spectral Duke. Yeah. 
How does it compare to Garafa, you think? It's got a lot more raw power, but it's a bit less stable. Yeah. I'll say no guard. Critical? Hard <laughs> well, this is Mega Colony, so if you don't drop the stealth multi or something. Oh, it's getting slightly annoying. Yeah, it's like a shot. search. Yep, so deck thinning in its simplest form. Yep. No need to play multiple con rows. Got way too many grade threes in my hand already. Might as well get some of them out. Yep. He doesn't have any grade ones, so that will do that. 16 to Vanguard. Uh, <laughs> Heel trigger? Power to Garafa. Heel trigger? Holy! Whoa, come on! How would it go on the Garafa? Well... That went well! <laughs> 11 at Mortimer. 21 at Jason. Be able to catch up now, Odin. He's got a pretty poor field and his hand's not looking too healthy. And he can't even hit my 11k. Mm. He's, uh, and now he can. Sponsors, um, <laughs> we have none. <laughs> Always good to know. I'm allowed to do them. Why would you say that? I don't know. <laughs> Twelve. Because we have none. Because we have ten. Interesting game, actually. I don't know what I could do with yeah. that. Yeah. That came out of nowhere. How Again, is... since you guys can't exactly see the hands of the opponent, like of the players, you know, they're going to talk about how they felt during the match. Um, what was running through your head at the end there? Three no guards in hand. I figured he'd already hit enough crits over the whole game. I should probably take the last one to conserve resources. Mm. Didn't pay off, apparently. <laughs> I managed to keep his field under control most of the game, but his crits every turn he made up for it. <laughs> Wow. Just every time yeah. crit. So there was a lot of triggering going around. Yeah. You were hitting your crits and your oh, draws. He heals. And yeah. he, he was he <laughs> that, double that, heal. Double nice. heal was really nice, but um, you know. They're usually better late game than early game. Yeah, definitely. Um, although this does speak back to, and I'm not sure whether we'll have the absolute VG circle yeah. up by then, but we were talking about the ideal number of null guards to run in the deck, and I think mm. this is a good tie in. Um, Silent Tom did mention that he didn't understand why. Um, you wouldn't always run four nulls in a deck where, well, I wasn't able to explain myself so well, 
But that right there is a good example. You kind of want to conserve your hand, and sometimes yeah. the null guards just get clogged. Yeah. And I do yeah. understand that, like, having a lot of null guards is good, especially with all the big stuff coming yeah. out. But and in fact, my back row was often made up of triggers. Yeah, sometimes it didn't have any good fodder without would, any draw triggers yeah, going it, on. Had that been, had you run maybe one less null, yeah, what if that had been like, you know, another AK or like a stealth millipede that could have helped you out? Probably still wouldn't have been inclined to guard Spectre Duke that turn, because without a crit it wouldn't have killed me. Yeah, definitely not. Okay. And with only one drive checker's chances were really low. Alright, <laughs> yeah. now from Odin's side, how did you feel about the game? I didn't cover Aichi, so I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't cover him, cool. I'm happy. We're talking about your deck. Uh, um, pretty much less than lots of him. <laughs> well, well, to be honest, it takes a big person in this game to admit that they are lag sacking. Um, yeah, like, I crit each, each turn. Every Dodging. attack was a crit. Yeah. It's not a whole lot I could have done. But to be fair, he healed a lot. Okay. That, that, yeah, is, that, that comes back on. But in the end, this is another example of where it just comes down to like surprise triggers. Yeah, not ideal, cool. but I was still pretty impressed with the way. Uh, what was it, Vol? Was it? <laughs> yeah, was it? Yeah, was it? Yeah. I, 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 I'm really impressed about the way you handled yourself through all that. Um, like that crit basically sealed the deal. Yeah. But you are very much in control for the majority of the game. So. Yeah. Yeah. Quite a good match. Brings up a lot of key points. And, yeah. Is there anything else you guys want to add? I didn't know what Giraffe does. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't sure it was an on hit attack. So I didn't know what Giraffe so what does it do? <laughs> also, no, I wouldn't normally use Graf in that situation because he only had a trigger on his back row. But because I was playing Spectral Duke, I figured if I could get his whole board under control, I'd kill most of his engine. Mm. Which I did. His limit break pretty much screwed him over. If he didn't kill me with it, he probably wouldn't have had much of a chance of coming back. Yes, yeah. definitely. So uh, it was a worthy gamble, but in that just case... It didn't pay off. Yeah. What I was thinking that uh, if Spectral Duke wiped my field my board, with the short turn on stand, right? What then? The next turn I'll run Azul, or else I'll die. Yeah. That's my second See, yeah, yeah, Azul. See, that's another then good I'll thing. Like, Azul yeah. is good in recovering Spectral Duke. Mm. Personally, I go for Garmel. Yeah, same here. Um, but yeah, the, like, even though Special Duke's limit break is very pricey, yeah. the Gold Paladin deck in itself does have a couple of mechanics that can, yeah. you know, it can recover from it very well. Hey, look, look Odin, you bottom decked all your support. <laughs> 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 Oh, there you go. The fact that you have ones most of the game shut down a lot of my effects. Well, your bottom ain't looking too good either. <laughs> oh, look, there's all my... <laughs> there's all my crits and power units. <laughs> and what's the... Oh, my rest of my minipedes. <laughs> <laughs> all three of them in a row. <laughs> well, well, that was good. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for joining us on another um, edition of this match team. Um, I'm not sure whether that made up for either of them, for the Crazy Wing Challenge thing. No, that was no. probably... And, and we have TB over here on the side who is laughing because he, he heel triggered a lot in the uh, No Vanguard episode. So, what would you like to say to end this episode? You didn't suffer the wasabi. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's it guys. We're good. Thanks for joining. <laughs>